Hi everyone, it's Abigail from The Creative Bix and today I'm going to show you how we can make this 3D brush um, in Procreate and Adobe Fresco. So I'm going to start out in Procreate and what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to my gallery and I'm going to open up a new canvas that is 3000 by 3000 pixels. Okay, and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a big circle. Um, I'm using my Sadie brush. You can get it in my Etsy. Um, but you can use whatever brush you like. I'm just going to draw a big circle and then I'm going to hold my pencil, let it snap, and then with one finger I'm going to tap, make it a perfect circle. And then I'm just going to drag and color fill. And then I have snapping turned on, so I'm just going to put that right in the direct center. Okay, now on a new layer, <clears throat> you can see I've already worked out one down here, but on a new layer, I'm going to start drawing and I want to use these retro colors right here and so we are just gonna draw like a little pie shape and this is where you can get really fun you can draw really fun designs but what really matters is what's going on the outside around here so you want to pay attention to how the colors are looking around on the outside and you can get really um, fancy with all of this you can do um, symmetrical designs, you can do, maybe I'll go, I have this red color, maybe I'll do a little bit darker red here. Okay, so, <clears throat> you can do really fun designs, um, I'll show you a few options you can do, you can liquefy, you can do that, um, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to leave that here, and I'm going to turn this into a clipping mask. So it's going to clip this top layer onto this bottom layer right here. And that's all I'm going to do. Um, you can actually, uh, actually let's liquefy and let's turn the distortion all the way down. We're going to turn the size just a little bit down and we're going to clean up this center right here just so it's a little bit more exciting and maybe pinch it so it comes in and it just looks a little bit cleaner. Okay. So with that being said, I have the circle I want. This is the color. These are the colors that my brush is going to look like. Um, and I'm going to turn off this background color. So to do that, you're just going to tap that check mark. And now we're just going to save this. So I'm going to go to share and we're going to select PNG. This is the one that's going to allow you to save this with this transparent background. If you save it as um, a JPEG, um, it'll have that white background. So we're just going to save it as a PNG and save image. And now we're going to go into a new app called Adobe Fresco. And when you open up Adobe Fresco, it's going to look like this. I have a few designs down here, but I normally use a canvas size that is 4,000 by 4,000 pixels in Adobe Fresco, just so I don't lose any um, quality. Okay, so now we're going to make a 3D brush. To do that, first you're going to want to import your brush. The, the picture you made in Procreate. And I'm gonna scale this down just a little bit um, and you'll see why in a second. And then we're gonna tap done. Now we're gonna go to our eyedropper tool over here. And as you can see, it has one color selected. If you go down here and you tap this little um, circle here, now you can have multiple colors selected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch this screen size so that this entire brush fits within the eyedropper. And that's why I scaled it down a little bit because you can only go so small with your canvas. You can't go any smaller. Um, I'm going to move that back. You can't go any smaller. So you want it to be able to fit all the way in and you can increase it just a little bit um, and adjust how you feel. Okay. So with that, you need to save it now. And in order to save it, we're going to go over to this swatch panel and you're just going to tap this little plus sign over here. So if you ever accidentally tap something else and it goes away, you can always go back in here and tap it and you'll get your swatch. Okay, so with that, now we're going to go up to our brush and we're going to select basic and hard round. And that's the one I normally use to make these 3D brushes. So then we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to hide this layer and go back down to another layer. And now you can start painting. This is your 3D brush. Um, with this, you can a couple of uh, settings I like to use is I like to turn smoothing all the way up to 100 and then if you want to change the spacing you can make the brush go farther apart um, but obviously I like it a little bit closer I usually have it at like anywhere between 
3 and 0%. You can also change the angle of your brush, going back and forth like that. So I'm going to put it maybe around, let's do like 7%, and then you can change the hardness and the softness of the brush. I normally keep that at 100. Okay, so let's do the word hello. And when I do lettering um, with this kind of thing, I like to do each letter on a separate layer. So I'm gonna add a few layers. We're gonna go down to the bottom one. Now I'm gonna write the letter H. And then I'm gonna select my next layer on top and write the letter E. Then tap on my new layer on top, L, make another L, tap on that last layer, and O. Okay, and then I have hello, and obviously that's not perfect, but I don't really mind right now. So what I'm going to do now is, since I'm not um, as comfortable using Adobe Fresco as I am with Procreate, I am going to export this. So I'm going to tap the share button up here, tap publish and export, and then we're going to export this as not a PNG, we're going to export it as a PSD file. And I'm going to import that into Procreate directly. So I'll let it do its thing. It's importing. Now we're going to go back to our gallery and I have it right here. Okay. And so what you can see is because I exported it as a PSD, I have all these separate layers. So what you can do with that is you can add shading and make them all separate. So if I go down to this H layer, and say I'm going to I'm going to use a a medium gray color. I'm going to use my Sadie brush again and I'm going to turn this into a clipping mask so that I'm only drawing here and I'm going to draw I'm going to make my Sadie brush just a little bit smaller. I'm going to draw right behind this E and see how it's only on this H right here and it doesn't get on the E that's what the clipping mask does and because it's on separate layers. And then I'm going to smudge it. And I'm going to use a soft brush to smudge. Um, you can find that in the airbrush section. I just have a selection of all my favorite brushes that I have at the ready. Okay, and then we can do that with all of our other layers. So I'm going to do add a layer on top of each one and then turn it to color burn, color burn, color burn color burn and then turn them all into clipping masks above their respective letters okay and then I'm gonna go down to my E and we're gonna draw a little shadow and then I'm gonna do it up here on my L my next L and then actually you know what I might not need it on my O and so then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna smudge all of this smudge smudge and then it just creates a little bit more um, depth and detail into your work and there you go that's a really simple way of how to do these 3d letters and you can get very creative with your design you can add highlights more shadows all that good stuff so if you recreate this tag me on instagram at the creative bix and I'd love to see your work. Thanks for watching.